He's got the most important job in these here parts. The Prime Minister. But the PM's not in it alone. He's got a very important psychic who can step in. The Deputy. When the PM's away or can't do his job for some reason, this guy puts his boots on and saddles up. They both have a big job to do, so they have to work well together. But did you know they actually come from different political parties? The PM, Malcolm Turnbull, is the leader of the Liberal Party. His deputy, Michael McCormack, is the leader of the National Party. But each day they work together as part of a team called the Coalition. A coalition is when political parties agree to team up and hopefully win a bigger share of the votes in an election than if they were just standing on their own, which in turn makes them more likely to be able to win and form government. Usually they have a pretty similar idea on how things should be run. And while both parties stay separate and do have different views on some issues, they share enough similarities to be able to compromise. You can't just make up a coalition as you go along. You need to go into it with a pretty solid agreement about how it will operate. Mr Speaker, of course I agree that... For example, nationally, the Liberal Party earns a bigger chunk of votes. So, as part of their agreement, the Prime Minister is selected from the Liberals, while the Deputy comes from the Nationals. Think of it like dividing up the spoils. But the rest of their agreement is actually secret, so we don't know what's in there despite pressure from other polis. It would be a very good start for him to do what Barnaby Joyce wasn't prepared to do, and that is share the arrangements with Malcolm Turnbull with the Australian people. The deal between these two parties goes back a long way. The National Party of Australia started in 1920, but back then it was called the Country Party, and it was all about representing the views of Aussies living outside of cities. They focused on supporting farmers and other industries like mining. But after an election in 1922, the country party agreed to team up with another party to help form government. That party would later become the Liberals, and the rest is history. Except for all the times they've split and then got back together since then. Lately though, things have been pretty solid and the Liberal and National parties have worked together to bring law to this tumbleweed town called Australia. And while it's been a bit of a bumpy road, this partnership is here to stay, no matter who gets to wear the badges. <laughs>